In this video we're going to look at the OpenWebRx Plus software. I've looked at OpenWebRx in the past in earlier videos, but one of my commenters on the uh, series of uh, Kiwi SDR videos that I've done mentioned OpenWebRx Plus. And I did a little bit of research, I hadn't heard of it, but it seems the OpenWebRx software has moved on. I will take a look at OpenWebRx Plus, what it looks like, what it does, and where we can get a copy of the software. So as you can see on the screen, I've got OpenWebRx Plus running here. And it differs immediately from the original OpenWebRx, as not only does it now have a waterfall display, but you can see above the waterfall display we've got a spectrum display. You can see the uh, the peaks of the signals. And at the moment I've got OpenWebRx Plus on the 10 meter amateur radio band and we're decoding FT4 data and you can see it coming up in the uh, the panel in the bottom left of the screen. OpenWebRx Plus has a number of decoders built in. If you look at the control panel the bottom right of the screen you can see the various modes that the software will receive. So it's got all of the usual modes, uh, FM, AM, upper and lower sideband and uh, CW mode. We've also got a wide FM setting. But you see we've got some digital modes here as well and these are the modes you'll often find used on VHF uh, and UHF amateur radio. So we've got DMR, we've got D-Star, we've got NXDN, YSF which is Yesu uh, Fusion and M17 which I believe is a, a new mode still under development. We've also got a mode called Free DV. I believe that can be sometimes heard on HF. I've not come across it myself, but I've read that there are people using it. And there's DRM, which um, is still used by one or two uh, shortwave broadcast stations and can be quite interesting to decode. And then you'll also see that... Um, there's another button labeled digital and uh, under that there's a drop down with various digital modes that uh, we would find norm mainly on HF. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Let's press the digital button and see what modes we have available to us. And we can see that we've got uh, BSPK, PSK. 31 and 30, uh, 63, FT8, FT4, JT65 and JT9, WSPR, FST4 and 4W, and JS8 call. Those are the main modes that we'd see on uh, the HF armature bands. Uh, we've also got decoders for Packet AIS, which uh, is a marine band uh, uh, ship identifier, POXAG. We've got the CW decoder. I've actually tried this with OpenWebRx and it seems to work quite well. RTTY at two speeds or two um, shifts and slow scan TV. And the SSTV works very well also. I've been playing around with that on 20 meters on OpenWeb. So we've got some very useful uh, functions. These are all built in. We don't have to use any virtual audio cables or any uh, third party software. So it's quite convenient if you want to do data decoding. If you're interested in OpenWebRx Plus, the uh, first port of call really is going to be this GitHub web page where you will see the um, details about the package and how to download it. The easiest way to set all this up is if you have a Raspberry Pi, and this is the way I did it, 
you'll see uh, the section here entitled Raspberry Pi 4 and No Clue. This link will take you to a downloadable image for the Raspberry Pi. And if you download the image and write it to um, an SD card for the Pi, you'll find that you'll have a working OpenWebRx Plus program. I successfully used this straight away with an RTL SDR dongle. That's the easiest way. If you want to use an SDR play device, there's going to be some additional work uh, needed in setting up the image. I managed to get my RSPDX uh, working with this, but it did take some playing around and you need to do a little bit of extra research. But it's a very quick and easy way if you have a Raspberry Pi and you have an SDR, RTL SDR dongle or similar then you'll be able to get this working very quickly. You'll see on the page there are other instructions for how to install the open web system if you're using other software or other operating systems rather like Ubuntu or Debian. Um, and then further down there's some detail on what you must do uh, in order to get an SDR Play device working. I'll leave a link to this page in the description so you'll be able to go directly to it and it also links to an open web rx telegram channel where there's additional information on the software and there's also some chat facility where users of the software can share their experiences and just a quick reminder open web rx is not the traditional type of software that we would use with SDR devices in the sense that we don't run the software from the machine that it's on. When you set up a Raspberry Pi or similar with this image, it will basically operate as a server. You won't plug a monitor into it and a mouse and start using the software directly from the machine. What you're going to need to do with this is connect your Raspberry Pi to your local network and then using another device that's equipped with a web browser you'll be able to access your Raspberry Pi and whatever receiver is attached to it and tune it. So you'll be able to do that over your local network straight away and with a little bit of work if you can do the port forwarding work you'll be able to access your receiver over the internet remotely. So it's a uh, basic alternative to the Kiwi SDR. Now the Kiwi SDR is no longer manufactured and no longer as far as I know available new. The only issue you'll have with OpenWebRx is that at the moment at the time I made this video Raspberry Pis are very difficult to get a hold of. There are alternatives and they're discussed in some of the information on the uh, web page here and also in the uh, t the telegram chat people are using things like orange pies and so on but the easiest way by far is to download the raspberry pi image if you have a pie and use an rtl sdr dongle now although it says that the software is designed for raspberry pi 4 i've had uh, good success using it on a raspberry pi 3 and it seems to work quite well both with the RTL dongle and the SDR Play RSPDX. So that isn't a problem. It would probably run smoother on a Pi 4. I'm going to try it on a Pi 4 that I have, but it will run on a Pi 3. So there's a little intro, Open Web RX Plus. I'll do some more on this in the future. And if you want a remotely accessible receiver, which can cover whatever part of the spectrum your SDR device covers so you're not limited like a Kiwi SDR to the HF spectrum if your SDR goes up to two gigs then you'll have coverage of up to two gigs remotely so that's OpenWebRx OpenWebRx Plus thank you for watching